Good morning everyone. Starting this week's vlog in hospital. Seems a bit odd. It's a very, very gloomy, gloomy day out there today. Today's a good day to be in hospital. I think tomorrow I'm supposed to like this too. Tomorrow I'm supposed to get tomorrow. I'm supposed to be getting out tomorrow evening, afternoon, hopefully, fingers crossed. If not, it'll be Wednesday, but hopefully tomorrow. And Kevin's headed off up to Cairns. So it'll be good to get home to be with my puppies. But yeah, doing okay. Got a bit of a headache this morning. Just waiting to see how I go. I need to get a Panadin or some Panadol or something. Just watching some YouTube. So we're waking up. It's so weird. Like, I feel kind of okay, but everything's just like sluggish, just like wading through mud kind of thing. Everything's slow and yeah. I really do not understand why people want to take drugs. I mean, mentally I can understand why people need to escape their lives, but I do not like this feeling. So it's not for me, except for helping with pain relief. <laughs> My silly brain got the message that there is no reason to feel this pain. That would be good. Anyway, um, yeah, nothing else to to update you on because nothing's happening. I'm just here getting my infusion. I'm already down to six mils from ten. Still feeling a little bit under the influence, but probably a little bit clearer. But it's also early morning. Take a cup of tea, watching some YouTube. As you see, it's a drizzly day out there again today. I can't update you on the plane. Doctor's supposed to be coming at lunchtime. I'll be finished my ketamine by then and. Hopefully they'll give me the all clear to go home. I can't imagine why I wouldn't get it. So yeah, she'll be home around lunchtime or shortly after lunchtime. Very excited to see the puppies. I was about to make my own breakfast for myself, but also it's morning tea time for everyone else. <laughs> Let's have a morning tea snack today. It's a nice little one. If you want to savory all week rather than sweet, but how cute, how cute is that? So we'll have that and I'll have my wrap as well. Well, I've been disconnected, no ketamine, just waiting out for the doctor to come in and see me. I have gotten dressed for the day and yeah, I'm just going to pack up now while I wait. They like you, you should be here about an hour after stopping in to make sure there's no any further problems, but I also do need to see the doctor, but I'll get packed up. I don't expect any problems, but you never know. So I'll get ready to go. As soon as I can, I can call my dad to come get me. 
and emerging. So, welcome guys to the World Heritage of Great Barrier Reef. As I mentioned, we are at a site called Moor Reef. Very, very pristine site here on the Great Barrier Reef. So, where we are exactly on the reef right now is where we call the Back Reef Slope. So, if you look down to your right, you can see it very, very dramatically drops off there. And then if we look to the left, we can see very shallow corals. Um, so these corals here are protected by this slope, meaning that things like waves and currents aren't as much of an issue here. So we can see out to our left, the assemblage of corals reflects that. We've got a lot of branchy corals, a lot of soft corals, a lot of corals that in uh, harder, harsher environments probably wouldn't survive because of their fragility. Now, if we keep going over to our left, that is where the coral gardens is, so where you'll be doing your snorkeling today. But out to our left, we have a little group of anemone fish. So they're just sitting above the purple anemone, just to the left of those blue corals there. So there's anemone fish. They are our little Nemos. The snorkeling fish out to our right are our blue fusilids. Now, they are a planktivore, meaning that they feed primarily on plankton. So what they're doing right now is just sitting, facing in the direction of the current, getting themselves a nice easy feed. When we refer to plankton, we're referring it to any microscopic organism in the water that can't actually fight the currents. So they're kind of at the mercy of the current. And uh, they're a huge, huge building block in the food web down here. Uh, they grow relatively easily. All they really need is light or nutrients. And they are fed on by a huge, huge range of um, Feeders. So they provide that link in the food chain and without them, everything up here. A big school of red bass out to our left here. Now these guys don't look very red at the moment. That's because as you start to go underwater, you lose colours on the spectrum. The first colour that you lose is the colour red. So they seem a lot more red when you see them at the surface. If you get time to come down for a fish feed today at one o'clock, you'll be able to see. spots. I know about half an hour ago. It took a long time to get out the hospital today. Had to wait probably almost two hours for the doctor to come in after I was disconnected. Usually, yeah, we usually go home at 12 30, but not two hours before he came in. Dad came in about one o'clock because I had to wait a long time. I had some message to say I was going to be after one, but he didn't get his message because he doesn't check his phone very often. So he had to wait with me and then the doctor finally came in, that was fine. But then I had to wait and get my cannula out and the nurses were all flat out at that stage, probably getting people in from day surgery and doing their changeover shift and things like that. So I had to wait even longer. <laughs> so yeah, that was like another 40 minutes after the doctor had been in that we finally got away. Got a lovely welcome home from my boys. Uh, another great welcome home from the rest of the house because I know Chrissy doesn't do well and she tends to live a mess with Kevin. He did not do well this time I was in hospital. He kind of, I think it's an autism thing. I don't know what happened to him. But I've got all his clothes that he washed. They're all draped around the, around the, the lounge room. Oh dear. So, hmm, I did the job that I left him. I left him like an, maybe an hour's worth total job and he hasn't done anything. So he's naughty. Which is disappointing. I really thought he would have tried harder to get the things done, but he just didn't seem to function when I was not here. Oh well, I'll get to it eventually myself, I guess. And Christian lived on the dishwasher, so I'm not very impressed with my family right now, except for my puppies. I mean, I'm okay, I'm not. I'm just disappointed. 
But anyway, so the thing is, I could have a flare now after doing all on the ketamine for the week, or from when you come home, you have a few bad days. Usually, that's the case. So we'll see this time around. Maybe it won't be the case, which I hope. But we'll see. But if it is the case, then I've still got to try and get things done. And the dog's dinner wasn't even organised or cooked. I know Chrissy said she's not having a good day, but neither am I. Anyway, there were still some vegetables left for what I prepared, so they'll, they'll be okay for not just chopped up some sweet potato, threw that in the microwave. So the dinner's done, but I wasn't expecting to have to do that. I should have probably, but I didn't. But it's nice to see them. I've got a lovely, lovely welcome back from them. Anyway, <laughs> not thinking about my family. headed out with the puppies for a walk um, quite stiff in the legs <laughs> obviously after a week of not really moving so I'm just going to take it slow I'll get a nice little sniff and, yeah I'll get a nice little sniff in that it's nice to be out and moving though but yeah <laughs> I have to keep it a bit slow but that's all right they're happy I am denied about coming out because I'm a bit sore still but Make the effort we'll get out it's going to be even hotter the rest of the week i think for the next few days so and in case i don't feel any better well let's get out today to remake my bed today but <laughs> oh dear what a mess the chewy on top strip the bed tomorrow and <laughs> wash all the bedding. I'll seem to do it, do it today, but not tomorrow. I'm trying no time tomorrow because it's going to be really hot. Right, I'll finish making it now that he's moved. That'll do for tomorrow anyway. Just me and the pups, all me, and probably just coated tonight. We chewy slept over last night, which was nice. Quick, easy breakfast since it is near lunchtime. I'm finally hungry though. So I've just got a wrap, a rice and vegetable patty, some piece of vegetables from like two weeks ago almost, or a week and a half. Good week and a half. We've got lettuce, it's still good. Took a few bits off the way, most of it's still pretty good. Purple cabbage, butter lettuce, and a bit of. Um, it's not vegan it's anymore, vegan mayo. Then I have that coarse cup of tea. I have been doing bits and pieces, so I'll put on dog vegetables. I've got some washing in there that's soaking. I'm going to finish that off later on. I did um, empty and repack the dishwasher because Christy didn't get to it yesterday. She's now emptied it, so that's good. I've got some towels that I bought in from outside, ready to be folded. And yeah, I've just been doing bits and pieces, so I'm feeling kind of accomplished, even though like it is 20 past 11 and I'm having my breakfast. I've walked the doggies, I've showered, I just saw made the bed. I've emptied the, what else I do? I emptied my suitcase, it's all unpacked. Still got a little bit downstairs to unpack, but upstairs is all done. So yeah, I am feeling very good, considering this first day post ketamine, and I'm still a bit sore, I feel okay. Feeling accomplished, which is always a nice thing. Oh, my fiber pain's caught up with me. <laughs> I'm really sore now, my legs and my arms. Very fibro sore. And it's okay, so I've got a lot of stuff done. A few more bits and pieces I can do throughout the afternoon. 
So I just I sort of had my breakfast and I've just been editing the weekly vlog for last week. So I'm obviously not a particularly exciting one. We've been in hospital for the week for most of the week, but then I'll get that up for you guys. And then if I'm still sore, I'll probably try, start working on a photo book for a little bit. And then I'll try and get up and get a few things done. But yeah, if I don't do anything else, it's okay. It's okay. I'll do bits and pieces and not too bad for a first day back. We'll try and get the rest of that suitcase unpacked and, and put away. And then tomorrow, hopefully we're feeling a lot better and we can get some cleaning done. Well, I'm not especially hungry, even though it's 2.30. So <laughs> um, late breakfast filled me up for a long time. So I've just um, done a couple of dumplings. So that'll be a nice light lunch to have. Plus obviously I'm pretty out of vegetables. So I'm trying to use up a few things that we have. Bearing in mind, we go away again next week. So I've only got like seven days. Kevin's not here for the few days. So I'm gonna try and sort out and miggle, try and um, wiggle through with just limited, we'll get some fruit and vegetables, but very limited and just what we're gonna use up. So I've cleaned out the fridge. I've washed up the lids and stuff. The glass containers are in the dishwasher because there's gonna be plenty of room in there. I've taken out my green um, food waste. I'll just show you the fridge now. As you can see, my shelves are pretty empty. <laughs> Christy's got a bit of food there, a bit of food prep. That's her cauliflower to make some more cauliflower soup with. So all I really have is that lettuce that I said kept really well and some purple cabbage. That's all I have <laughs> as far as fresh uh, vegetables go. And you can see very slim pickings, some dog dinners, the rest of that pack of the dumplings. But that's okay, I have got plenty of food in the pantry and in the free freezer, so it will be fine. I think I'll get my groceries on Friday and I'll just be for like the, yeah, the weekend and the first few days of next week. So I need, do need to do a bit of um, planning. Potatoes, I've only got a few little ones left and those ones will have just started to um, sprout a bit in there. But again, I've got, mm, well, a small dinner maybe perhaps. <laughs> But, you know, we've got wraps, we've got tin food, I've got meals in the freezer. So, no worries there. So I'm gonna just go have these for my lunch and then I'm gonna move in to the um, study. I think I've got some layouts just to start to scan again and work on my jigsaw this afternoon and photo book perhaps. Yeah, should do a photo book too. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna have for my lunch. out of the freezer to have for dinner tonight and then if I'm still a bit hungry later on I might have some popcorn or something we'll see we're supposed to be sleeping up we go to bed He's so cute. <laughs> He's got a wiggly waggly tail. Why is mummy still awake? I do not know. This is why mummy shouldn't have her phone up here. I've got sidetracked on my phone for the last few hours. 
<laughs> You're a cutie boy. What a cutie boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was very naughty last night. I don't know if you guys noticed the time that I last filmed. I don't know, I read for a while, and then I don't know, I picked up my phone to look up something. Now who knows what I was gonna look up. I have a funny feeling I didn't even look up what I was gonna look up. I got sidetracked on like Instagram, a little bit of TikTok, Facebook. I sat up to a quarter to three. And even then I really wasn't tired. I thought I must put my phone down and get some sleep. Oh, how naughty. This is why. I mean, it's not really why. I, I brought my phone up to bed before. I have never done anything like that before. I think I haven't really been on social media much lately. And I just sort of fell down the happy catching up with some people, looking at cute griddles and goldens and just, yeah. <laughs> I had a good time, but that was not a good thing to do. So I'm rather tired this morning and a bit sore and it's going to be hot. So I haven't... So I'm in the, I've got the blinds closed, so it's dark up here. And obviously I'm not taking the doggies for a walk, but we will have a swim later on today. But I've just been up and had my shower. And I've lost my weight. And now I like this top, which I love. Look, it's getting really big around the bust. I've got two of these dresses and I love them, but it's okay. They'll send me out this summer, I hope. They might not, they're getting, they really are looking a little bit big, I think. But anyway, it's okay, I can wear them for now. <laughs> And I've got some things that are a little bit still, that should, yeah, a little bit fitted now unless I have a top over them, like slip dresses. They should be okay once once I don't fit into these anymore. Or well, they're too big. But yeah, you can see there's a lot of, a lot of room up there. Because I lost like over a kilo in hospital and since came even just a day or two in home, I've lost some more weight. So, just shows when you eat less and eat more vegetables, what happens? <laughs> More vegetables, I think, is definitely the, the key. For me, that's definitely what works for weight loss. All right, I'm gonna go down and eat my breakfast. I was going the same as yesterday, just another wrap. I've taken out some pasta bake to have tonight, some pumpkin pasta bake for dinner tonight. And I just gotta work out my lunch. But I'll see what I feel like then. <laughs> All right, gonna go and do that and then Try and get a few things out of the kitchen. Oh boy, you've got a rumbly tummy. I could just hear it. I don't think he's feeling very good this morning. You didn't even eat your brekkie, did you? Okay, come on, let's go down. Good boys. Still going. Keep falling down. Some of them all coming out. And we've got a little snail friend down there. I don't think he's going to eat them, so he's going to probably stay.
thought why my potatoes were cooking. I made my salad for lunch. I've got my healthier dressing again since I haven't got mangoes anymore. Um, so I managed to have a salad with some lettuce and some purple cabbage and I had a tomato left and then I had a tin of beetroot and a tin of corn kernels and then my potato. And I think I've got some sunflower seeds and some pumpkin seeds in there as well for a bit of crunch. But while that was all happening, I managed to do a bit of cleaning. So I washed up. I've cleaned this bench and the stove top and the fridge microwave and this bench. So I've still got to do along here. That's all really, isn't it? Really should do those shorts, but that might not happen today. We'll see. <laughs> they do need a good clean. I might try to do that. So yeah, and I thought the stove is looking pretty good. It was a bit grotty. So yeah, just got to do the sink and that's all and I'll clean the table. So I probably will do the table and those shelves and get those done as well. But now I'm going to go and have my lunch. Oh, it's nearly 10 to 2. And I'll do a bit of photo book, my usual afternoon. Maybe I won't get to here. I'll try. I'll do my best to get into here, even if it's not till later on. But I do I want to take the puppies in for a swim later on. Probably at four o'clock, perhaps. When well, the pool's actually pretty shaded over now, so we could go over any time, probably. I'm gonna have shade the rest of the afternoon out there now. But it's still pretty warm, so I might try and let it cool down a bit further, if it will or not. I don't know. I didn't feel like doing it, but that's done. <laughs> Very proud of myself. So now I'm going to take these puppies out for a swim. Oh, no, I haven't done that table. I'll quickly do the table. Mm, I'll do a quick go of that too. There you go. I was too quick to think I was done. What's happy? Because look what we've got again. <laughs> so there he goes. Oh, behind you, darling. Oh, that pool is full, isn't it, from the rain that we had earlier in the week. It's pretty warm out here. I'm going to jump in the pool should hopefully be nice and warm. The pool's actually not as warm as I thought it would be. I mean, it's alright, but it's a little bit fresh, which is quite, quite nice. That's some heat on that sun. No, there's some heat from that sun. Alright, I'm gonna play with these puppies. Oh. Oh. It's a bit chilly in here. You didn't care, did you, Shuey? You didn't care. Oh. Come on. side of the pool. He's obviously done it before. You need a boost? What are you doing? It's supposed to be swimming. Come on, come back in. Come on. The old game. Oh, I can't reach it. Hold up.
everybody. Yay! <laughs> What a good boy. He was a good boy then. Nice little bear. This little bear. Oh, <laughs> did we lose something? Did we lose something? We lose this, did we? Does she want to get this one? You can't get it, can you, Coda? Because you've got a gob full of stuff. You are cute and pie. What a cute um. Nothing left, it's all finished. Oh, beautiful boys. Look at them beautiful boys. I'm getting kicked out of the room by me. to clean the bedroom but um I don't want the alcohol collection <laughs> oh goodness um uh, Mr. Withnor I'm going to just dust around what I can I really want to get vacuumed in here Let's see there's lots of lots of bits on the floor I want to get vacuumed he's looking for dots but I'll close the blind 
because the air conditioning doesn't work properly in here. I'm thinking I'll come when it's cool and I'll do the cleaning up here, but it's warm in here. Anyway, it's a mess. I'm just going to do what I can and then we'll get Kevin to sort his stuff. I might have to do the duster even up here. That's what I'll do. I'll leave his stuff. He can deal with his stuff when he gets home. I'll do my stuff and I'll do the bathroom. We may want to do the bathroom and the floors in here. So that'll just have to do. Get the bathroom done. I'll show you. I want to get the shower done. Shower, shower screen really is, is very needing done. So I want to do that. Tidy up here and that. So I'll get done what I can. Once it gets too hot, I'm going to do that one in the shower. So then I'll clean first, do that. I, was, I forgot to bring the tripod up, so I won't film any of it. I'll just, you know, you've seen me clean here before anyway, so it's fine. I'll just get stuck in and do what I can. Well, I am done upstairs, so I haven't done the front, the hallway out there. I have dusted. I might do it later on. I might leave it to tomorrow. We'll see. I'm um, very hot and tired again. I'm going to take a shower. Got some clean sweat going now because I'm very warm having to scrub the shower, which I'll show you. But I didn't do the floor properly. I did a little bit on the floor. Put a lot of mold in there at the moment, as you can see. <laughs> it looks worse on the camera, I think, than it does. But yeah, I did have a bit of a bit of a wipe over, but I mainly did the shower screen. So all is done. So we've got some things here to do on package today. But that is good. Have mopped the floor. No, don't worry about that today either. Main thing, we've got the bedroom done and the bathroom done, so that's good. Well, don't ask me what I've been doing. I've just been fiddling around online. I'm just so tired after all that work this morning, walking the dogs and cleaning upstairs. It's taken me a while to recover from that. A couple of drinks of tea, a couple of cups of tea, and yeah, I don't even know. Don't even know. Did get some concert tickets. I just, yeah, for um, nothing but thieves. It's the third time I get to see them, so that's exciting. Though it is the night we come back from Charleville, so I've got like eight, nine hours driving in the day, and then I've got to go up to see that night if I go. I've bought, I bought my ticket because I've got a really good ticket. But I can't, I'm going to grab that ticket, and then if I'm just too tired or whatever, then I just won't go. But we'll be aiming to go. All right, I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna have the other of those um, dumplings for my lunch. Nice and easy, because obviously I haven't got much in the fridge at the moment. Do have my order, or my fruit and vegetable order coming from Harris Farm. There's a few other things, but mainly fruit and veg coming from them in about an hour and a half or so, I think the delivery is expected. So then I'll have to do a bit of prep work or try and get everything washed and dealt with when that comes in. But yeah, otherwise, just gonna take it easy for the rest of the day, I think. Did okay. I also vacuumed through the kitchen before I went upstairs, so um, I'm very happy with what I got done. I'm sure there's always more things I could do, but there's tomorrow and the next day. What got four more days after today do we go to New Zealand? Oh, and I'm going to go to Kevin with Kevin to Cairns in just after we come back from Charleville. Keep him company for the week. <laughs> This is all happening. I'm hardly going to be home, I think, between now and May. And then June, we've got a Hawaii trip. So, a bit of traveling. Some with the puppies, at least. <laughs> Didn't feel too bad about going to Cairns because we'll just come back from taking the dogs to Charleville. So, I think they'll be okay for another week. It's not like it's, you know, back to back to back that they're getting left behind. I think they're okay. Christy was walking them, we'll take them for a swim. She'll probably go scuba walking with them then. So they're getting their exercise, still getting their walk. And yeah, they're just lying around. They're just sleeping. I think they're recovering from the walks this morning still. Like they're just very chill little puppies. I'll probably want to have a play later on, although I think we'll try and go for another swim today later on. But that's just going to depend on how I'm feeling. But yeah, I think we'll try and do that because I did enjoy my time in the pool yesterday. It's not quite the relaxing swim that it used to be before having the puppies, but <laughs> when we move, I'll be able to have lots of relaxing swims. So now I'm taking advantage of having the puppies in the pool with me. That's on. I'm going to finish dishing up the dog's dinner. Bit of stuff to put away in the dishwasher. And I'm also going to clean out that drawer in the fridge. And I noticed that shelf's pretty grotty. I think the rest is not too bad. 
Oh, I could probably use a wipe. Right, I'll see what I can. I'm just going to wipe what I can see because I did it not that long ago. I feel. I guess it's a kind of job that does need done fairly regularly. But anyway, I'm just going to do a spot clean. box from Harris Farms. I thought I'd show you what I got. Only two things for the fridge. I got two of these tapioca puddings that we had um, I don't know I had a week or so ago. Really nice. Um, they're expensive like six dollars but I guess for a fancy dessert that's what I bought them for my visitors so I'll probably keep them for that special occasion and then I just got again to just to bump the price up so we got cheaper delivery. Got some chicken snitchels for Kevin. So I'll just I'll freeze, I'll probably get one out for the weekend or something and freeze the rest. i am just got to put them in just a separate bag. Alrighty, I've got some sweet potatoes, a butternut pumpkin just to have in handy, some potatoes, corn cobs are like 50 cents each, they're really cheap at the moment and they're so good and they keep really well, like even if we don't use them all, we probably won't use them, maybe the four of them before we go away, I bet the other two will be fine when we come back from New Zealand. Some bananas, which are still a bit green. <laughs> tomatoes, just got one cucumber for salads. Some tiny tomatoes. Not the greatest looking lettuce today. Um, no one comes with this plastic bag. So anyway, I'll, <laughs> I'll deal with that one after. I usually have really great lettuces, but I just want to get one again. So I've got some salad stuff. I meant to cancel the ginger, but I forgot. So I've still got ginger. Big bag of spinach. Hopefully I'll use that because that's a really big bag. I might have some smoothie packs actually, so that would actually get rid of a lot of it. A couple of capsicums. There's two limes. One down there, one down there. Bag of my beans because I still really enjoy these done in the air fryer, so that's what we my um vegetable of choice before we go away. Some what are we spring onions because my other one's a bit past it. Some mushrooms. Again, I'm going to use these before we go away. Got some apples, some oranges for Kevin for lunches. Got a big, another purple cabbage. I'm not sure again, I'm going to need that before I go away, but they keep really well anyway. Some carrots, and I've got strawberries. Hope they're nice because they're pretty expensive for such a small container. And then I've got some raspberries because I just love these on my overnight oats. Didn't have any this morning, it wasn't quite as nice. <laughs> And then just a couple of grocery items. I've got tuna coconut milk, because I've only got the small ones. And if I make um, mushroom carbonara sauce, I might make that, I'm not sure yet. Need that. And I just got some barbecue sauce, because we didn't have any at the moment. And I just grabbed two of these little, um, they're vegan gingerbread men that are really nice. So just to, you know, have. Not that I've been eating anything like this at the moment. I've been so, really eating so well at the moment. So, but. I might take them to New Zealand, they might be nice to have with a cup of tea or something over there. Got so much trouble coming up, so I need to keep eating as healthy as I can at home so I can have a few little treats when we are away from home. Anyway, I'm gonna pop the stuff to get washed over near the sink, put the rest of the stuff away, and then that's dealt with at least. Okay, just finish that puzzle. Another bit of a fiddly one, but it was good. So I enjoyed it. Sit down. Sit. Sit. I'm waiting nicely for Daddy. Sit. Chewy. Sit. Can I? Sit. Waiting. That's nice. Good boys. Daddy. Oh, I know the doggy's got out. Come on. Back inside. Come on. Chewy, chew. <laughs> Come on. Chewy. Inside. Come on. Inside. Goodness. Here we go. Good boys. I'll be back in a minute. Wait there, Koda. Wait there. Koda. I'm not going to wait there, Daddy. Boy, waiting there. Hello, oh my goodness. <laughs> the excitement. The excitement. Koda's got. I don't know why Koda's on the other side. I don't know why. You can't get in, Daddy. I can't get to you, Dad. Kata's going in the car with you. <laughs> well, I've got to get right here, Daddy. <laughs> My goodness, Kata. <laughs> wow. I thought I've got a good welcome home. I think Daddy got the biggest welcome home. <laughs> Come on. 
Too, you know. Yeah, Kevin's here too. So we just realized, well, Kevin just remember, we've got to go vote today. I only found out today that we have to go vote. The elections on when we're in New Zealand. So I'm going to go down and get that over and done with now. And then we can relax for the afternoon. I have washed all our bedding and hung it all out in the pot. It's very cold out there. Done a lot of clothes as well. Picked up after the dogs. Yeah. And then I've just been, who knows what, fiddling. I bought anyway, more clothes. Yes, Kevin got some new shirts from Tony Bahamas since he lost a couple and we're in the States somehow or other. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna go down and do that. And then Yeah, come back. Kevin's got a few jobs to try and do either today or tomorrow. What shoes me? Where are your shoes? What shoes you? Do you live upstairs? It's gonna be so nice when we move and everything's built. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Puppies can stay in the car, we're going to bring them. And then I remembered that Daddy had the dog thing. And then it says, oh, I don't think you can read it. There you go. <laughs> Just making dinner, I'm making a homemade roasted vegetable pasta sauce. Never done this before. Some of my vegetables and put them into the pan. I've got to blend it and add some milk. It's all cream, but obviously we'll um I just don't know how to blend it in here. I guess so. I blend normal soups in here, so that should be fine. And then probably heat it up a bit. It smells like it's gonna be a nice one though. Really nice. I just um, pop the pasta in to heat everything up together. The pasta sauce is really nice. I don't have any measurements. But the ingredients were just cherry tomatoes, capsicum, and capsicum, I diced up onion, and a whole bowl of garlic. Top, cutting the top off of the garlic um, bowl. I just sprayed it with a bit of avocado oil, and I forgot about the any herbs. I just added Italian herbs and salt and pepper into it. And you bake it in the oven. I did it on about 180, I think, for half an hour almost. I can't remember what he did most of the dinner, but he blended the sauce. Yeah, and then you put it into a pot, Blended it with the stick blender. I didn't lie to you. I did most of the dinner. Yeah, you did it all. Down. I did the blending. Oh my God, okay. That was a critical thing. And then, yeah, just add, I just add a bit of soy milk. And I think it's going to be yummy. Well, it is. We've so tasted the sauce, so. I haven't. I did. You put your finger in it. Oh, I didn't. I used a spoon. You might have had Rona. Oh, my goodness. Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday morning here. Last day of the week. Just um, getting some breakfast for Kevin and myself and it's an easy one, spaghetti on toast today. I'm feeling pretty fibroy, so we haven't gone for a walk with the dogs. Plus it's getting very hot. It's Mr. With now. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Nice, simple, easy breakfast. I'm gonna sit at the table, but it's a bit of a hard one to eat on your lap. <laughs> Excuse the hot, sweaty frizziness. I've just been doing some cleaning on a Sunday, which is really unheard of, but obviously we've been in hospital for a week, going away again. I just want to finish this lounge dining room and the front entry bathroom. And then I have cleaned the whole house at least somewhat in the last week. So that's, you know, that's a big thing. I haven't got the floors mopped, but that's okay. <laughs> they'll, they'll wait, they'll be there when we get home. Um, I might be able to manage it. But maybe that's something I could do tomorrow. I might try actually to do that tomorrow. But I'm just going to see how I feel. But, so hot and sweaty. Sorry, I don't. I really like to appear on camera looking like this, but I did want to report in. I was doing some cleaning. Um, Kevin's got a bit sidetracked. I asked him to like deal with his box of stuff that's there, his stuff that's on the table, his stuff that's the front entry. All my stuff's tidy. So I've asked him to do that. 
he doesn't want to do it and he's now out in the garage <laughs> doing something for the mo for the minivan that we're not even using until after may so i might just i can probably vacuum this room and then i'll have to wait until we've done the front entry i think before i can do that but it's got the air conditioning on but it's still so warm once you start moving i think i will wait on the vacuum i'll do it after but yeah i'll have to sit down have a little rest i guess now and wait for him to come back in and get him onto doing his things i'm just trying to get through his head if he doesn't want to look after stuff don't buy more stuff <laughs> because everything you buy you need to look after you need to find a home for it you know if you want to have an organized life anyway you need to find a home for it you need to look after your things or just accumulate and you just have a whole lot of junk that's useless anyway i kind of think i'm getting through to him and then he goes backwards a bit but anyway as long as he deals with it <laughs> then i can clean yeah. i made a nice salad today we're having a fancy chickpea salad nice oh you haven't tried it yet have you it's a little bit spicy i know the difference We're between lentil and chickpea that's great most people do we're gonna facetime again <laughs> i don't think chrissy's listening to us somehow no i don't know what i, did. I could tell because you weren't paying attention <laughs> no I, I did a scary thing you did a scary thing what was a scary thing well, she, she's going on that hobos only hobos site what it's like only fans but it's because she wants to be a homeless okay. hobo because it's cheaper hey guys. so she's going on what? only hobos okay all right i clicked desk view because i thought that might make it like actually full screen not no, just that, fake full screen that then uses your but phone but it just started using my phone camera yeah and i was you're, like how you're is, i didn't realize your, it was using my phone you're supposed to put your phone on top of your screen and then it can show what you're doing and working on it and it automatically magically does it no, Coda wants to play there's, ball as there's well. There's a big feature they talked about. I don't know any. This is Woody when he wants to go for a walk. You're doing wall walls? There's been some funny little talk a second ago, aren't you? It's a loud noise. Where's your cute you ones? Where's your cute little wall walls? You were doing funnies a second ago. Oh, he's getting easy to rub now. Is that a funny wool wools? <laughs> yeah, like that. That was a funny one. You're a funny one. I'm just talking. Are you a funny? <laughs> Are you talking? The funny boys. Now go to talk. What's going on, Junior? What? <laughs> you just keep talking. That's not such a cute talking. What are you saying? You've already had dinner. And you had a swim. This would happen. That would happen. Thank you.